Ah, uh, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Green Guy right back into it with a continuation of the Estral's Cartography Guild. Ah, uh, I'm a little winded, actually. Dang. I had a rough, rough day. I am exhausted. I honestly probably should just be going right to bed, but screw it. Dungeons and Dragons is fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rejoin the Discord. I survived look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fucking eat here. What is happening? Eat, eat what? A slice of bread? <laughs> yeah, oh, what? A single slice of bread? Real man's meal, like a pile of strawberry ice cream. <laughs> the devil's happening? He's, okay, it's a piece of toast. A single, very lightly it's toasted. Not toast. I heard a crunch. No, it's just bread. <laughs> what are you eating just bread? I baked it myself. Why wouldn't I eat it? Little boy's hungry. Okay, that makes a little more sense then. It does? He it baked it like a baked, You know, it's like, hey, I gotta eat this bread I made as opposed to, oh, yeah. oh, he, my mom bought bread, let me eat that. He baked like go good bread. It's not like Wonder Bread. Speaking mm. of baking, I and have bakers. Bread oh, yeah. Yes, hey, how, Tyler, about it? how baked are you? Oh, no. Zero. Um, God, it, enough. it's time to discuss our plan, gentlemen. Oh, right. We had to make a plan. All right. So Q does all the talking in the conversation with Baker. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible yeah, idea. Quiddy, yeah, Quiddy sneaks into the office. Uh, no, okay. um, there's there is a problem. That was his plan. There is a problem with trying to tail Baker using familiars. There and is. that is the radius, the it, the range in which we can actually go into their senses is 100 feet. So, can they not come back and communicate to you where you went? Can they? They yeah. won't know how to do it. Right. Can they won't know to you do that unless uh, we tell them. Right? Unless we yeah. tell them. Yeah. Well, yeah, tell you, them. yeah. You tell the familiar that hey, follow him if you see, you know anything suspicious or that if he's coming back in the direction that he came from go run faster and take so yeah he goes to his house tell us where it is yeah i mean failing all else we could just send klaus to scout him out the first day find out where the house is and then comes back with that and the next day we put the rest of the plan in action that requires Two of us to distract him, two of us to freaking no. No, yeah, two of us to search his freaking office, and two more of us to search his house. Well, we only really need one person to distract him. Okay, we, we can't communicate with our familiars telepathically. Uh, however, the spell doesn't say that they're more intelligent than, like, their... Standard counterpart? Yeah. They're intelligent enough to follow basic commands, I would assume. But to take note of, like, street addresses? I mean, they could just walk back to the place. Again, uh, all fails. Yeah, that's true. We have Klaus. We also have Klaus, whoever that guy is. I kind of want another slice of bread. I, uh, who doesn't? I can either pay for the information for what... Perhaps there's the meat market. inside of it? Like, what, was that? what was that, Nathan? I can either pay to get the location of his house, or we can just follow him for, like, a day. And I can also pay for a distraction. We've got distractions. Yeah, we've got... I'm a, I'm a distraction-based wizard. That That's is true. true. Yeah. I'm the distraction guy. Um, so... Okay, what's the what's the first thing we're doing? Like, what's the beginning of the plan? Well, we gotta find his house and make sure that's always checked off. How we go about doing that? I mean, we have a lot of different ways we could do that. Apparently, I have mean, one way. Can, if we can just pay for the information, then we can do everything the same day. Well, how much are we paying for the information? How long is that going to take? Is the question. I imagine to figure we'll those things way. out. It's just like, hey, where's William Baker's house? Oh, it's over there. How did you not know that? I would have to... Yeah, there's a few people I need to talk to. I'll just add that to my list. I've already messaged Michael. Oh, you've got connections or something, right? Yes. 
You could say that. Right, because Sen is a thief. Burglar. Yeah, indeed. Sen is not. Burglar. A body burglar. Sure. Burglar. We can yeah. do that. That kind of cuts Heinrich and I out of the plan, though. No, not necessarily. It'd be nice to have both of you... Well, at least one... Actually, no, both of you with Lambert when we go investigate his house. Because that way, we're covered on a couple fronts. We're covered on the investigation front between me and Gwydion. If there's someone there, Gwydion can try to distract them away or out of the house, and all else fails, we have Heinrich. We will just drop a darkness and we dip the fuck out, and hopefully not get spotted. Alright. Sounds then, like, to me, that Q <clears throat> needs to be the one doing the conversation. I would suggest... it won't be useful <laughs> elsewhere. It may not. <laughs> I... You know what? As much as I really want to disagree with that, I actually don't want to like, disagree with it because he is... Oh, my lord. I mean... It just be genuine, but... you know? Like, Ew. you can have a genuine, nice conversation with him. Yeah, I was talking about... Like, Q, Q's a small talk guy. He is. He, I mean, he'll, he literally talked fucking two people's ears off in this party about boots. I feel like, that, I feel like <laughs> Heinrich would work for that. <laughs> okay, Q, if I'm going to lie to William Baker, I'm going to need you to not tell him that I lied to him. Um, I can do that. That's, that's simple enough. I'm just not comfortable with not telling truths. Okay. Um, oh. You know what they say, an omission of truth is not a lie. So as long as you don't say anything, that would be bad. You know, you just talk to him. It'll be fine. <sighs> Give him the nature. Person, I, I think that it might be better for me to talk with him, and you stay quiet. Well, we certainly don't gain any information that way. That is for sure. I mean, Are we I... trying to gain information? I... Yeah don't like that I'm going to say this, but I agree with you on this, even though I'm very hesitant to say that. I... yeah. Like, Lucian, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want you there, just in case shit goes, like, way bad south, because, okay, worst case scenario, he does turn out to be the fucking sculptor, in which case, God knows what the fuck he's actually capable of, and you literally come back from the dead. I mean, that's you see my logic. True, it <laughs> hurts, oh. but yes. Now you're putting a lot on the line there, but I do like the idea of abusing Lucian's resurrection powers. Which I mean, I'm... there's the two Art. of us. I mean, sure, like Lucian can resurrect. Q can't. Q. But if we're oh. talking about like a psionic who will likely have a lot of saves, I currently have plus seven to all of my saves. Right. So, so Q. that's why I also want Q with you. If all goes to shit, I thought about this. you run away and I stop him, okay? Yeah, just like the manticores all over again. Just like the chimeras, yeah. Yeah. Manticores. Where are the chimeras? Like, I honestly don't know. I keep confusing that. They're chimeras. Reasonable. Um, I need to look at a spell list to see if there's anything that a paladin could oh, use. Oh, no truth! Oh, truth. <laughs> I mean... I, I need to wait a day to prep that, but uh, that <laughs> seems like it seems like we're gonna have it. We like, uh, want to do this the next day. I can have some really good. I didn't think we were gonna tackle it today, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I think this is more so prep work and finding out where his house is first, and then the next day is when we put the really squirrely crap into action. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna wait for uh, Sen's connections to follow through and see if we can find where his house is. I, I am desperately trying to cover like every base I can possibly think of that could where this could go squirrely. And today, uh, yes, today we should invite him to lunch tomorrow. To go yeah. to lunch tomorrow. Invite him today, just it's not so short notice. I agree. Uh, Q, we should go together without the rest of the group because they won't be there anyways. Yeah, that seems him. reasonable. And like, I'm the guard connection, so we're that's... all. Yeah. Easy enough. We're all on holiday. Yeah, precisely. He sees us for time, it's a clear lie, but we're all busy. What do you mean, it's a lie? I'm gonna go to the brothel the moment we're done this conversation. I'm on holiday. We're all 
too busy for lunch, except for you two who have right. a lead. So let's revisit the plan. I, holiday right? can't possibly be with all of you at the same. Well, I guess that's not true. They're just off doing things. Yeah, it's fine. So no... re revisit, revisit the plan. We invite them to lunch. Mm -hmm. We go to lunch the next day. Mm -hmm. During the lunch, the group of you have hopefully found out where the house is. So that means we need to find out where the house is before we invite him to lunch, right? Because that that timing needs to work out. Yeah. So once we find out where the house is, we invite him to lunch the next day, and then we go to lunch. While we're at lunch, the rest of you go scout out his place and see if you can find any like stuff that says like, "Oh, hi, I'm a serial yeah. killer." <laughs> and literally the sculptor. I mean, um, basically. Yeah, that seems reasonable enough. I, I'm looking for either something that's a little bit more concrete than just a hair we found on a very scary Silent Hill-esque mannequin, or literally nothing at all, in which case I'm going to lean more towards its uh, red herring. It would be a good idea to keep an eye out for a journal of any sort. See your diary. Today I killed someone. I imagine if he's been having psionic related issues he'd write it down somewhere i was hoping i right. a secret room with a bunch of insane scrawling up on the walls the ceiling on the floor and shit i don't get a lot of utility but i can prep zona truth for the next day <laughs> please do not cast it on me <laughs> i mean yeah me I, neither. i do like uh, the idea of having it there just in case but Only he would know if you failed the save. Okay. And, and because you were resisting it, you would have his charisma bonus. Oh, okay. All right. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. It's only you know. It's not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, sense connections come through. I mean, worst case scenario, the solo goes through about like it usually does, in which case we're back to square one again. Okay. Um, I like this. I'm gonna write it out. I, I, I am desperately... like that. <laughs> we need team names. I am desperately trying to think of anything I might have missed in my thought process for this entire scheme. I mean, if you're I'm a serial scared. killer, you're probably not gonna have your, like, tools at your house, and you're gonna have it, like, at a shed in the woods or something. So, we'll see, right? Well, that's why I, I kind of still want to lean towards, uh, along with Sense Connections to find the house, also have someone tailing him throughout the day. Like, I still kind of want Klaus to actually follow him once. Like, getting you guys to meet up with him for lunching, just to get Klaus, like, within the vicinity to tail him from then on, to see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I can, yeah, I can definitely tail him. He doesn't know who I am, so. Exactly. That is true. Yeah. That's true. That's an important note, huh? Mm-hmm. It's almost um, as if that came in handy. <laughs> you can, you can uh, also message us so we know. If you're like, I am outside of the house, you should hide. I do not have message, though. Do you right. have sending? I do not have sending. Have you have telepathy. <laughs> Which is, I'm sure... Only up to 30 feet. <laughs> 30 feet. Better Let's go to that back restaurant 30 feet from your house. Wait... Who Give does have message and or sending? I got a message. Okay. Wait, that hold on. That actually works out really well. We keep Gwydion like close to the door and Heinrich can telepathically communicate with him, give a warning. He can message me and I know they dip out the back door with I, I'm sorry, Leora's got a message. Oh, uh, I've got I've got disembodied voice, which is not the same. But hey. But could it be used in a similar manner, kind of? Uh, I can, I can yes, put a little, I, I can want to be able to hear it. Yeah. I well, can put a little whisper next to your ear. When everyone is literally just going to be me in that room. Hopefully. I mean, that, again, that's my theory here. Like, that, that's like the one thing I'm not quite dead set sure about is if the guy lives alone. Yeah. But I guess we'll find that out and deal with that as it goes. I mean, I, I got everything else thought of, to my knowledge. Kill his roommate. Right. I mean, the I can prep this guy self as well. 
else if you disguise one of you. We also just have Klaus, who's just like literally an unknown, just some guy that we yeah. brought up. Yeah, who's... I'm gonna I'm gonna prep I'm gonna prep this guy self because why would I not? Yeah, just in case. I mean I got stories how that saved my rogue's ass a few times. Okay. Literally runs around a corner, casts this guy's self, walks back around the corner as something else. So who's going where? I feel like that's still not figured out. No. I no, it's, it's basically pretty much figured out at this point. Day one, cool. uh, <clears throat> Lucian and Q are gonna invite Baker to lunch for the next day. Klaus will be tailing them, break off, tail uh, Baker for the rest of the day, see what the fuck he does. Uh, Sen, your contacts are gonna get hopefully his house, God willing. Uh, then the next day, everything else goes into action. Sen's going to his office. Disguises him after Lucian and Q pull him away as a distraction. Try to get some information that way. While me, Gwydion, and Klaus all book it to his house and ransack the place trying to find something, anything, or nothing. We're going to the office? Or the house? What was that? Who's going to the house? You and who? Me, Klaus, and Gwydion. You literally will be disguised as him, and it's also virtually invisible. Indis and you can be invisible, which is another bonus. So even if it does screw up, it's like, hey, you're just invisible. And you're just in an empty office that yeah, I'm no one's occupying. I'm fine being solo. I just wanted to figure this out. Like, you getting okay. out, I'm less worried about. Like, if things go squirrely at the house, which is a major unknown to us, is where I'm most worried. Matthew, Dude, I swear to God. We can... If we can have our familiars look through the house and see if there's anyone in there. Which I'm also happy like, to do. And well, I'm happy to bring both of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lucian and Q, I believe, should invite him to lunch. Like, talk to him today and ask if he wants to go to lunch tomorrow. Right? Just to get the We need to do that after we get the location of the house. Right? Like, if we don't have location of the house, then bringing him to lunch is pointless. Yeah. Yeah, That's I think we get that tonight. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to get the location. Between all of us, I'd be damn surprised if we fucking couldn't. Not in a yeah. day, at yeah. least. I, I covered every base I can think of. If anyone Woo! has anything to add, any other ideas, I would be more than happy to hear it. <laughs> What, okay, we need a plan for when things inevitably go wrong. Well, then in that case, we fall back on our usual status quo. Fuck it, wing it. Okay. Yeah. We got our two best front... Actually, no, we got our three best front lighters, literally in all the worst-case scenario, physically dangerous situations. Uh, Zen, you are literally basically a escape artist between being able to change your face, turn invisible, and all that. I... I... I hate to say it, I think this is one of the better plans we've ever come up with. And it'll fail the worst. And I can't uh, wait to see how it fails. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, so, uh, first things first, I guess we should follow Lucian and Q then. We need the location of the house before we invite him. I think a lot of us also want to do things today before then. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, it, it's probably about like one or two. I mean, obviously, you can try to get that information quickly. Um, but I'm pretty sure you know that you're not you know, sure when that information will come back. So it might, the longer you wait to go and invite him, the more likely it is that you can't find him because he'll be home. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I get that, but like not having that location of where he lives um, completely ruins the second part of the plan. Like we have to have that before we invite him to lunch because the next day we're going to lunch. 
Well, I that's feel like it's not difficult to find. I mean, like if we go to lunch and he's just like we don't have that location, then there's no point. Well, that's the other reason I'm sending class with you guys the first day, so you can tail them. And <laughs> like the worst case scenario for this, uh, sends contacts don't come through, they don't get the location of the place, and he decides to sleep at the office that night. In which case, we're boned on that front anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we don't invite him until we know where he lives. That will probably add an extra day. It's fine. Potentially. I think we should probably just send the invite and hope he goes home. And I feel like my contacts, I shouldn't have a problem getting the address from him. Like, I mean, it's not like your contacts don't work overnight. So... Well, I want to... I want to go to the brothel, and then I want to talk to them, and then when I get back, I have a third thing to do. Yeah. I just want to go out and get fucking laid. I don't know why the fuck she's going to the brothel with me. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to worry about it. Why is everyone keep saying that? <laughs> like, well, I... One way or another, I am pretty sure that you will, like, regardless on, like, if you add the extra day, you will know where he lives by tomorrow. Like, tomorrow morning. Oh my God, that, if you're going to pay for the information, it will be available to you before you need it. That's part of what you're paying for. You know what I mean? Me or Matthew? Well, I mean, yeah. it's Leora's contacts. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so... <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, then sounds like Leora has something she wants to do before we go and invite this dude. Okay. If we're inviting him to lunch tomorrow, then there's no reason you can't just, you guys can't just take care of that. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll go yeah. We'll invite him to lunch. Okay. It's fine. It'll work out. Don't worry about it. Can't wait oh, I'm not worried. Solution in queue. Um, you go out to the, uh, guard, uh, the guard outpost at Barron Street. Um, it's about as busy as usual. Uh, a handful of people writing reports to, to the Rivera family, making sure everything is to the letter of the law, because that law was very carefully written. Um, a woman in full regalia walks up to you. Hey there, friends. Uh, how can we help you today? Yes, is Captain Baker in? Uh, Captain Baker, uh, no, I'm afraid not, but I can help you with, uh, but I can help you with anything. Um, as Sergeant Navarro, I run this place with the captain's wife. Yes, um, Miss Navarro, I, uh, we'd like to invite Captain Baker to lunch tomorrow. Oh, uh, friends of his then? Yes, yes, we've been acquainted. Uh, well, um, uh, he was just having another one of his headaches, um. I was getting worried about him, so I told him to take the day off. I tried to get some people to escort him, but uh, he said he could get there. All right. Um, it, he might be out a few days if it continues to be up like this. Um, actually, um, if you'd I, like to go check on him, we could certainly do that for you. That would be. Nice. He, he's a rather stubborn one. Um, if, if you wouldn't mind checking on him, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Of, of course. Um, we, where would I find him? We've oh. never been at his house. Uh, oh, that's fine. Um, that's it. I can get to the <laughs> Sure. Uh, here. I take this with you. It'll, it's only a few minutes away. The one goddamn thing I didn't think of. Oh, maybe he just decides to take a week off. Yeah, okay. You have a good uh, day. I feel like killing someone now. Does she experience these headaches very often? I wouldn't say very often, but they are becoming more and more frequent, unfortunately. Um, before, um, he would always go to see uh, uh, Mr. Vasim. But ever since uh, this team has been away working on his new home away from home, it seems that they've been happening more frequently. 
you. I think we might want to get a move. Well, we'll, we'll check in on him and we'll see if he's up for a lunch. I know he's been working quite hard and it'd be good to catch up. Fine. Hold on. No, so, I mean, I feel like that's a lead. I feel yeah, like we need no, to know. Elrin. Elrin. Oh, oh, Elrin. 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 How about to say? Elrin. I think he means uh, The seam is a. Def- it's a. The name <laughs> of another one of my NPCs for a completely different campaign. So. Okay. Oh. It's Elrin. All right. It's Elrin. Of course, it's Elrin. <laughs> He's been suspicious since the beginning. Well, uh, Lucian is that's... definitely going to get out of there. I just had a room connected Head to the door. Right Baker's house. Just like, whenever they leave the guard outpost on the way to Baker's oh. house, uh, Lucian's just like, Q, uh, I have a bit of a theory, and if I'm correct, these headaches are tied to uh, Baker in some way being our culprit. I, I had that insight as well, but it didn't feel appropriate to ask the... Absolutely not, no. ask her when the last uh, headache was, to see if it lined up with... The last one that you saw was right before the the Changeling murder, and the day that that, that he brought you in on that, um, he seemed fine. Yeah. I remember this experience that we had with him. Yes, so, it certainly seems fishy, if you will. Well, I, I think we may be needing to be prepared when we go into this. It may be a fight. Well, you know the plan if it is no playing the hero. I don't know what you're talking about. I do my best to make sure everyone is safe. I am safe. You need to make sure you're safe. Clearly very safe. Flashbacks to all the times the Teoroa has <laughs> brunted the forest of a thousand fires. <laughs> Put himself into the fire to save someone. Um, the well, Lord commands me. I appreciate your concern, Lucian, but there's a certain duty that I am, am, I, I need to uphold. Sorry, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Q, if I were to die, I would be fine. If you were to die, I would have to explain to the rest of the group how I failed to protect you. I can make you a shield if you'd like. <laughs> I don't think that would help me protect you. Don't you have a buckler? Uh, I do, but it's not, it's not like, I don't use it for shield purposes. Oh, I can make okay. you a larger shield that you could actually use some protection with. This shield is uh, beating people the fuck up shield. Oh, it's not I, thought, I thought when you said you would make Lucian a shield, I thought you meant you would turn Lucian yeah. into a shield. <laughs> I wish to protect <laughs> oh. Anyway. Sentient <laughs> tower shield. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Um, all right. Hey. Go to Lucian, me. that's that's kind of you, and we don't know if you'll continue to come back. Even if I don't, you are leaving. Should anything happen, let's all just go in, see what happens. Is that what you'd like, Lucian, for us to leave you? <laughs> you fall again. In this very specific circumstance, I am telling you to get the fuck out of Dodge. Because there will be only two of us, and not the party. We're not in Dodge right now. I'm unsure what the Doges have to do with us, but... (laughs) God damn it. Let's just go talk to Baker, alright? I... I will uphold your wishes in this very specific circumstance. All right, I will hold you to that. Consider it an oath. All right. 
Uh, so it's just the two of you, or is... No, uh, we're going to go get the group and tell them about this. Good. All right, yeah. And her, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, yeah, yeah. we know where his house is now. And then we can invite him to dinner. Or lunch, whatever. It's like, hey guys, found his house. We literally just asked the lady and she told us where it was. Get fucking killed. Wow! Me. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, so he wasn't even there? Where the fuck was he? No, he's at his house with a horrible headache, which uh, I feel is connected to the whole public situation. Oh, that's suspicious. And if we get there and he's not at his house, then I think we know what he might be doing, in which case, what I said earlier, I don't want more people to die. Right. I wanted to bait him out. I think the best option for now is for the whole group to go, but only for Q and I to actually present ourselves. Sure, I can uh, send my rat and Heinrich can send his spider in while that's happening. Just in case. Makes sense to me. Okay. And if he's not even in the house and he turns out to leave, well, I might be able to track him. Might. Right, if he's not in the house, I think that's, well, that's as good evidence as anything, really. Okay. Eight hours. Cool. I'm going to cast aid on the party before we go. Okay. Um, just, you know, padding our resources a little bit here. Uh, on which so party members? Uh, up to three creatures. Oh, only three people. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we had to cast it twice. Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh, it's not a concentration. Yeah. God damn. On Gwydion. Okay. On Heinrich. Uh-huh. And mm. also on Lucian. Perfect. 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 Because right. those are the ones I'm most concerned about dying. <laughs> you don't say. Sorry, Nathan. No, it's Sends fine. in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah, right. Not only are anymore. Bark. <laughs> if you want, I can just modify your memory. <laughs> Reset whole conversation. <sighs> um, well, uh, then the rest of us can find hiding spots while I send my rat through an opening in his house, perhaps. See if there's anyone who lives with him, maybe. Okay. We should probably right. be prepared to, like, follow him after this meeting. If he's, like, there, he's not feeling well or whatever. Like, it seems that the sculptor does things at night. Mm. And takes over the body of William Baker. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Let's go do a thing. Huzzah. Let's see here. I was close. Anyway! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so yeah, you, you guys do make it to Will Baker's house. It's a small place. A bit perfect uh, for your everyday bachelor with a well-paying job. Um, well, how are you that you're trying to go inside? Uh, uh, door. To, or... uh, I don't want to go through the front door. Is there a back door? Oh, well, hold Boston on, Tyler. Right now, Lucian and Q are just going to invite him to lunch. Yeah. Well, then I can... Uh... I'll wait till after. Just uh, like as long as you guys are nearby. I, I'll wait till after the conversation's over. Uh, there was a map prepared. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll wait till after the conversation's over, and then I can send a rat underneath the door. <laughs> if there's a big enough crawl space. Rats and rats. Well, technically speaking, this is shut, so don't worry about it. But yeah. you know. does anyone else worry by the fact there's a map? No. Nope. Mm, no. Of course not. Okay, yeah. I'll just chalk out the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. Yeah. yeah. Um. So are you just knocking the door? Yeah, just knocking the door. Right. Front door. No one seems to reply. Just the two of you. Hey, Baker. No, yeah, knock and, and call. Do I yeah. have vision? Uh, I only see myself, yeah. Uh, you okay. should have a vision. I no. think there's no light. 
Oh, no, there's... That if map you walk... is less small. If you walk up to the door, you can see inside the house. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, I only see myself as well. Hold on. You can yeah, see the light coming from the television. Out. There we go. I get like, you know... Don't go inside the house yet! Or... You haven't been inside the house! Get out! Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, can yeah. already see an outline of the house. Yeah, you can see the outside of the house. No, we can see everything inside the house from the outside. I can't. I Only can't. if the door's open. Well, now What's we can't see it. Before we could see it. No, you couldn't. Hey, I guess I could. could. Dog, you could do it because you just looked inside. No, Michael, when I was still outside of the house, not near the door, I could see the entire inside of the house. It was just a weird color. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think the lighting Michael changed. Michael grow another head. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, it has, it's a lot of teeth and claws, the new head. Jesus Christ, he's dying now. He's a little boy. Hi. She's bite, very cute. Bite, bite, bite. Aw. I gotta put these things away. No, she did know. look at me and uh, meow slightly. I'm not sure if you heard. She's trying uh, to say hello to us. She misses so, us. You knock on the door, there is no reply. So I'm like, hey Baker, are you in there? No reply. Okay. We leave a note to invite him to lunch? Um Well, uh, given that we need to find out if he's in there, I think we could enter the house if it's unlocked. Just for shits and giggles, and because they're gonna be far enough away anyway, I'm gonna. Yeah, we are here to check up on him. I, I, Sorry. I mean, you guys are. We're kind of just hanging out just in case shit goes south, and uh, seeing you guys not getting an immediate answer, I'm gonna start scouting around and see if there's maybe tracks in a very awkward direction of some sort. I send in the rat. <laughs> I send the rat. Um, is, is it a uh, one story or a multiple story? Only, uh, only one story that you can see. Oh, wow, it is a bathroom pad, damn. A great basement. And, and there doesn't seem to be any uh, back door. It's just the, the one door, small house. Unlock? Unlocked. You turn the handle, it, it just opens. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, I send back the rat. Trap. Can I? Yeah, this is oh, we go in. We should let Heinrich scout a bit. That seems prudent. Right, a spider would never be suspected. Yeah, I'll send the spider out and use my senses to look through it. Okay. Um, in the main room, you find a still lit fireplace in front of a table with a couple of chairs beside it. Um, beside the door, on one side, is a coat rack, and on the other, a sofa. Um, it's got a small cabinet on one end and a, um, a place to prepare meals and hold spices on the other. Uh, and to top it all off, on the other side of the room, he has what we would describe as a bulletin board. Um, on two slabs of wood, he is nailed to the wall. Notes concerning the sculpture case are hung up by daggers tied with string and connecting to one another. God damn it, I knew it. I it appears that like his obsession with the killer had expanded into his home. In addition to all of that, there are two doors uh, at the back of the room. I relayed the information. Actually, I'll probably, as I see things, I'll just say it out loud. Right. Yeah. So, your friend's a little obsessed. <laughs> Do we go in? Is he still here? Does not look like anybody is here. Oh. Uh, no. The, the two doors are still shut. <clears throat> shut. So he might be in, like, the bedroom. Is there any um, food or, like, a kettle on the stove that may indicate that it was recently used? Um, no, uh, but the fireplace is still being lit, and a, there's, a, like, a candle on the other side. That, that's still giving off light. It seems like he was here recently. I think we should go in. Be responsible for not to stuff out the candle before leaving. This house could burn down. Are we all going in or just you two? Um, 
for now, maybe just the two of us. We still don't know if he's just in bed or something's happened. I'm checking around the house. Yeah. And just turn invisible. Oh, you could also be invisible, yes. That would work. We literally have telepathic communication with a tiny spider thing. Probably crawl under a door. Just saying. Yes. That's a good idea. I'm a fan of As usual, things went foobar immediately, so we're again winging the fuck out of it. Yeah, yeah I, th I think you should send the spider under the door and see what's under there first. And burst yeah. the chaos. Alright. Uh, so I'm just using uh, my character as the uh, vantage point? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Still standing outside. Um, Alright, I'll go to this room first. Um, the bedroom is nice and neat. Um, his bed is immaculately made and organized. Uh, mm -hmm. In table and on his wall, a wardrobe. Um, the wardrobe is shut, so you can't really see what's inside of it. Um, uh, relay the information. The bed is suspiciously too well made. Zero killer. Okay. I'll, go to I'll go to the other room. Okay. I can't put my gun. Oh. Okay. Uh, you open the door. Oh, sorry. You go through the door. Uh, you find a set of stairs. Um, the room below is rather cold and dry. Um, walking down, you see a few barrels in the corner. Another corner holding a slab of meat. Um, just kind of strung up from the ceiling, and it, it looks like, first off, it looks like pork. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pig. Uh, is it? It, is, it? It is a, it has a face. It is a pig. It, it's right. a pig. Um, and, and pressed up against the side is a chest that's presumably used as some sort of ice box. Hmm. I've seen this episode of Dexter. Mm -hmm. Uh, I relayed the information. Big head, icebox. Yeah. Big head, icebox. Yeah. My rapper name. <laughs> oh, he's not home. Is it? Oh my God, no. he's a serial killer. Serial killers don't eat good food. We may have just missed him. Well, then where the hell did he go? Secret room. Well, Lambert, if you can find tracks, let us know. Meanwhile, I think the rest of us should flip the place. That by all means, I'll be back in a moment. See if I can. How it. are you going to get your hands underneath to to do the flip? <laughs> don't speak in Heinrich. Don't speak in Heinrich's place. Don't speak in Heinrich. All right. uh, well, while, Lambert, right. while Lambert is looking for tracks, I am looking for anything uh, that is suspicious in this house. Okay. Um. Well, there, there are, are two places that that the spider could not have possibly gotten into. Uh, yeah. Um, what is in the wardrobe and what is in the barrels and chest, uh, the barrels and chest down in the storage room. I can cast mage armor and let's, let's, let's see what's in the wardrobe. Is it dark in here or is it just like... It, it is dark in here. The lightning is bad. Necklace. I don't have mine anymore. I gave it to an illithid. Nah, yeah, you did. did. Necklace. I can see in the dark. I like that that's true. <laughs> okay, well, if Gwydion's gonna go check the wardrobe, I'll go to the basement then. Okay. Go to the basement on your own? This is like horror movie shit. Yeah, Have you, you not seen Scooby-Doo? Like, so excuse me? What, do you think I'm gonna die, Gwydion? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. I think you're just or gonna make second. me... I think you're just <laughs> gonna make me like something exciting. I'll check the wardrobe. Okay. Um, big wardrobe, ten feet wide. Yeah, big wardrobe, dude. Um, the wardrobe itself uh, has a bunch of civilian clothes, nothing too fancy, um, but something that perhaps many of you uh, would wear. You know, just nice, nice stuff. Um, Covered in blood. Each article of clothing is strung up in the wardrobe, nice and neat, organized by color from cool to warm. And, serial killer. And freak. there's an empty spot below to keep his armor. He's a serial killer. Okay. Hey, I color coat my closet. 
Well, so the, just because oh. a guy has OCD doesn't make him a serial killer. It just makes him weird. I'm calling the cops, Nathan. Nathan. Uh, Nathan was the sculptor all along, confirmed. Um, color, I don't color coat my uh, drawers, though. Just the, so, just the closet. Uh, it, so, uh, Lucian, you're going to open the chest? Yes. Okay. Um, you open up the ice box, and there, sitting among parcels of cheese and other perishables, is an arm. A oh. ghostly white arm that could only have belonged to a changeling. What? Okay, what? that... I'm going to... It's probably best to leave it here. Uh, we... Lambert, yeah. what's your... Uh, is where, where is everyone outside the house? You changed the music. Uh, I mean, I was walking around and seeing if I could find any, like, tracks or, I mean, anything. I, I'm assuming there's only the front door, right? So I'll probably be... I, it only here. looks as though you're a front door. So you're going to be uh, in front of the door? I mean, yeah, basically. I'm, I'm seeing if the tracks are uh, like, off. Where, of... are uh, where are you? I'm behind the house. I want to look around behind it. Okay. Uh, so, Lambert, what's your passive perception? 15. Okay. Uh, <laughs> out in the distance, you see uh, William Baker starting to, like, kind of stumble his way, like, um, like he's out in the street, surrounded by the crowd, kind of walking towards his house. Um, he kind of, like, stumbles onto, like, a pillar at first and, like, kind of gets up and, like, just continues. Like, it looks like he's still having that same problem, um, where he's just like disoriented, um, but it looks like he's coming home. But okay, uh, yeah. Seeing that, in that case, I'll uh, duck my head into the house real quick. It's like, uh, fair warning, homeowner's coming home. Oh shit! Uh, fair <laughs> warning, there's an arm in the freezer or ice box chest. Fair, ice chest. fair warning, arm. what? What? Fair warning, he's our culprit. I. What do we do? What do we do? Remember, distract rough. him. Get the Corner. fuck out of the damn house, number one, for fuck's sake. It's breaking and entering at this point. Scramble. Wait, Secondly, stop breaking. Stop breaking the entering because the door was unlocked. Oh, what the fuck, Evan? It's trespassing then. Stick with the main plan. Uh, Lucian, freaking Q, invite him to freaking lunch t tomorrow. Hold up, because we need to actually talk about shit. Everyone else, hide behind the damn house. Hide in trees. I don't give a fuck where. Lambert. When he's gonna duck into an alleyway or something. But I think we've got him cornered. Yeah. Stick with the plan for now. Oh, friends, I wasn't wasn't expecting him to be here. I, I, I just went out for. I I don't remember what I went out for. Um, I, I've not been too well recently. I'm afraid. Uh, no, good for company. Um, we we heard from your sergeant down at the guard post. We, well, we were going to check in on you and ask you to dinner tomorrow, but it seems that you are uh, not quite in uh, fit condition. Unfortunately, I do appreciate you checking up on me, though. It does mean a great deal. Um, I'll, I suppose I'll have to thank Navarro as well. Um, uh, sorry, I, I must get some sleep, um, uh, perhaps another time. Captain Baker, is there anything we can do for you this evening? I'd be happy to help you. I, I see that you're in pain, and I, you've done so much for us. I, I would hate to be a bother. It, it usually goes away after a while. It's just... Here. Baker, have you eaten yet tonight? We could fix you up something, perhaps. I suppose. Um, I, I don't have uh, very much uh, to uh, for dinner. Uh, I do have a slab of uh, pork. Uh, <clears throat> it, it might be good. Um, 
Do you happen to have any cheeses or herbs laying around? I usually do. To be completely honest with you, I... Here, let's let's get you inside and laying down. It's, yeah. it's this seems you seem to be quite uncomfortable. Perhaps we can we can help with you. <laughs> yeah, I need I need to rest. I should like I kind of like yeah. pick looks him like, up, from, like shoulder, and give him yeah, something to lean like on, and one arm each, and just yeah. Like, are there any windows that we can look at from back over here? Uh, fuck, probably. Oh, no, not from where you guys are. You know, you know what? Honestly, I think there probably would be one, like, this is going to get, this is going to look fucky at first. Don't worry about it. I'm going to fix it. There would probably be, like, a window, like, there. You know, so like, catch... over, over here. If we catch wind that they're going inside, I mean, screw it. I don't want to leave the house suddenly because the shit does go down. I want to bust through a window and take a head. Uh, there was one changeling victim, if I remember right, but that was it. The most. Yeah, uh, one that was missing uh, arms and legs. Ah, uh, okay. Then I was their arm and leg. Just their arm. Well, we found Theoretically. A, uh, I mean, you said there was some ham downstairs. Don't don't bother getting up. I'll, I'll go get that for you. Yeah. Um. I keep knives. Um. It's not just ham. It's a full. Full. Slab. It'll take some butchering. Um. Uh, it's cheaper. Here, Q, I'll take him into his room. You you go down and deal with him. Right. Is... Yeah, I go down and I deal with it. It's gonna uh, take it. And then, like, we'll call up the stairs. Are the cheeses in this... Um, are, the, are the cheeses in this, this hamper here? This uh, ice box? I... I, I, I don't... I, 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 I think so... Oh, uh, the ham should be fine. That's fine. We're, I don't need to press you. You lay down, and we'll we'll get you some tea and some something to eat. Yes. And I carve him some ham and make some tea and get him something nice. <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> He's going through uh, it. Okay. <laughs> You fry him up some ham. It's nice. Nice little pork cutlet. Like, I don't have a way to communicate with the group, but like at this point, I feel like we should just... I don't really know what do to it. do. Uh, I, I sit awesome. to a Teoroa and I say, I'm invisible, I'm inside the house. I feel like we've got him here, and I I want to act on that. But like, he's uh, he's really off and calm, given the fact you two are literally in his house, and he has an arm and a fucking chest. Yeah, um, I think it's what I'm thinking. A headache for sure. Like, I mean, again, this feels like it's been planted to throw us off the actual thing. Again, it feels like a red herring. We're about to see the sculptor. I, I guarantee I, you that. I think that's kind of my. my what might be going on here is Baker is a thing and then the sculptor are, is a thing and they're inhabiting the same brain. Dissociative identity disorder. I yeah, can yeah. See, I can see sculptor, I mean, uh, Baker from where I am. Uh, so there, yeah, there's, there's a window, window there. There is? All right. Um, I'm going to try to whisper in his mind, just come out, sculptor. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> and we know you know that's happening. And he doesn't <laughs> even know it's you. Uh -huh. This is fucked up. <sighs> you okay, Baker? Did you, did you hear something? I... Nothing. <sighs> that hand smells good. 
he kind of like rests his head back on the bed and just like shivers a little bit. So he's got a fever then. If I, if I put my hand to his to his head, does he have a fever? Uh, yes. Okay. Wake up! Wake up! God damn it! This is obscene. And get some rest, Baker. The food will be here for you when you wake up. Yes. And, like, you know, he kind of, like... I mean, he closes his eyes. He, he seems like he's trying to sleep, if nothing else. Okay. And I'm, I'm just gonna stay in the room, and I'm watching him. Okay. We're all peeking through the window. We're all waiting. <laughs> this is fucking weird. Of all the ways this could go south, this was not the way I was predicting at all. Never does. It's <laughs> unsettling. God damn it, Legion. We're just taking care of a good friend, and I think that's the right thing to do. You know, <laughs> you don't do the setup for a whole serial killer thing and not have it like the unsettling. Yeah. I. Fuck. Gwydion's gonna, like, go in the house at this point. Like, don't think Shining out here is gonna do much. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll talk to Q. So... What's happening? Oh, well, Captain Baker is feeling unwell, so we're, we're trying to do our best to make him feel better. I've made him some ham and some tea, and he seems to be trying to rest, at least. That's good. <laughs> Was Lucian telling the truth about there being an arm in the basement? Severed arm, belonging to, presumably, a person? I haven't. The faintest clue. Perhaps you should. Um, should we check? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I already said that. Boss whispering in my mind now? Yes, uh, of course. Perhaps I didn't think it was smart to be snooping. Uh, okay. Uh, and we're like whispering, I, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, like indoor voice. Like, I'm yeah, good. so like Matthew's idea was that if Baker thought that we didn't find it, then he's not going to catch on. Right, and that's exactly what I was going for as well. Yeah, but Baker doesn't know Gwydion's in the house necessarily, so... Yeah. Like, Gwydion can go look for it. Yeah. Like, Q's not going to be stealthy, let's just put it there. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Um, we can try to force him, like, see... Like, if I use Phantasmal Force on him, and if it succeeds, create an illusion where maybe it'll trigger a reaction out of him. I have a kind of macabre idea. What if that fails, though? What's Lambert's idea? I don't Sleeping? Care if you up this. Well, we're gonna need a piece of that arm. What? What? Like a kick up arm. If what? I can, if I can. If we can use a vial of blood for a scrying. Uh, Lucian's going to speak up. He's just like, hey guys, make sure to be quiet. Baker's trying to sleep in here. He doesn't need to hear about Leora and her injuries. Uh, sorry. I... Just my ears are first. This is an odd situation that we're in. I don't. Right, maybe just take the arm out of the cooler and confront them with it. I don't think that will work. I think there's something else in play here. I mean, from what from the window, does he have any like? Uh, that I can see. Uh, any necklaces or maybe something that could be 
like enchanting him as far as I know, I don't know, Arcana check or whatever. I can cast Detect Magic. Uh, oh, fuck. That might have been useful. Uh, we are... No. Oh my god, Goody wasn't here for that conversation. Damn it. Mm. Well, what Gwydion was going to say, if he was here for that conversation, was our other lead is Elrond. He was directly implicated in this by that person. Oh my god. Roommate. <laughs> Dustin is a loud boy. Somebody at least take a damn think finger. Q's gonna go out. He'll like go to Baker. Baker, I do you want us to stay with you, or do you, do you would you like some peace? And we'll we'll check on you later. Uh, I, I would hate to be a father. Uh, if you have other business to attend to, I, I'll I'll be fine. I I, I just need. Let's sleep. Doing well, he don't feel up to it. It's we'll, we'll get out of your hair, and we'll, we'll check on you in the morning. Hopefully, you're feeling better. I, I appreciate it. Of course. I want to whisper, um, you know, telepathically in Baker's head, um. Do you need a hand sculptor? Oh my god, the mind fuckery. Agents of chaos. You're gonna make him into a copycat killer at that rate. It, Lucian's just gonna close the door. He's gonna look to Q and just like finger up to his mouth. He's gonna walk down to the basement. Yeah, he's gonna go do some dishes, clean up after <laughs> things. So he's Excellent. making noise doing that, trying to be quiet, but also yeah. trying to be respectful. Yeah. I just. Because Lucian is going to be laying in wait. What? Are you laying what? in bed? What? So if he thinks we're gone, right? Is I think the idea that Matthew's going for, and then Lucian's just hiding in the basement for when he finally does. I don't think that was the idea at all. <laughs> Same downstairs. Uh, well, it's my idea now. I'm I'm taking it. Uh, sure. And then after a moment, he'll like he will look down the stairs, like at Lucian, like motioning, like, "Hey, are we gonna go?" Like you know. I'm not going. You go. And he'll shrug and he'll leave and close the door and make sure it's like, you know, trying to sound like he's being quiet, but like, you know, not quite succeeding on it. Right. And then convey everything to everybody else outside. So he's basically trying to be quiet. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's <laughs> how that would work. I'll yeah. send a message to uh, Lucien. I'm right beside you. Just like message back. Oh God, why are you in here? If he is the sculptor, you need to run if something happens. There's a message to Lucian. Well, it's too late for that. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck it. Now we wait. The stakeout. Some stakeout with what he has in his cooler box. Well, he has pork actually. So. Yeah. And a changeling on him. That's not a steak either. Yeah. Technically, steak is a cut. Of an arm? I think you can steak an arm. <laughs> you can steak an arm. Fair. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, are we... Is everyone else leaving? 
Like, how long are we waiting? I mean, I'm assuming we're like waiting around a corner where some of us could see this house. Yeah, we need to get nearby. I mean, yeah. do us, us that are behind the house, do we know what's happening? I'm assuming. Or, yeah, yeah. Q, Q told you guys what the plan was, I guess. That's the damn plan. You could have just taken a bit of finger or something. We could have scryed it and seen if Billy actually belonged to. Uh, whatever. I guess this works. Is that even a question at I this mean, point? Having a severed arm is, in of itself, uh, rather suspicious. So. Yeah, but that's one out of four limbs. Yes. Where are the other three? <laughs> <sighs> Why keep one? It makes no damn sense. Well. When he wakes up, maybe we'll see what he planned on doing with it. Also, for God's sakes, every single one of the sculptor's kills have been thought out, meticulous, intelligent. This is... This is stupid. I think the sculptor might be a little bit more... Uh, meticulous and intelligent than our friend here. Well organized as Borger was. I mean... Everything is just constantly contradicting the arm in my head. I mean, his wardrobe set up, his freaking almost like OCD just... And then there's just, just, I... there's just an arm in a chest downstairs in the basement? Just scream. It, it, it's like an, it's an icebox style thing, so... Um, it... It's meant, I guess, to keep it like preserved or something? And the door was completely unlocked. No locks anywhere. That one seems like a setup. Can we talk about how I can easily leave the house, but Lucian has no way of leaving? Lucian's fine. I mean, he's apparently he's... immortal, and he's going to play his character as such. And if he loses it again, then you know. Well, that's fine. But if one of the members of our group is found snooping in a house where there's an arm. Yeah, that does kind of implicate our group that we could it be entirely like, implicate killers. That's Actually, why I want to go in alone. Well, you can have that conversation with Lucian. I'm not going to have that conversation with Lucian because one of us or both of us will die. Okay, so, yeah. I do have that tag. I kind of wish Lambert guy would look at the arm. I think I can roll basically anything to figure out uh, the timing of when it was put in the icebox versus when it was cut off the owner. Is anyone going to bring up his relationship with Alra? Yeah, I mean, Q would fill the group in, like, okay, we're waiting, let's talk about, like, what what happened at the initial thing that brought us here, and he said that they like, went to Elrond for help, and... That seems important, right? That he went to Elrond for help with his headaches, and now that he's been gone, they've been happening more, and that's when these killings started? After Elrond started working on his home on the island? The killing started before that as well. But um, they become more frequent become now more frequent. that Elrond isn't here as much. So, I don't know if I can technically contribute to this conversation, but Elrond is like a powerful person with connections. He might have just had like medicinal things that he sold to Baker. We need to talk to Elrond. I'm not saying he's responsible, but I'm saying he might... No information. Oh, it's no. definitely Elron. Well, okay, so if if El Elron is connected to Baker, Baker goes to Elron when he's having headaches, and Elron prevents the headaches. Now that Elron's gone, the headaches are more common, and they also perhaps result in murders. Is Eleron gone now? Do we know? I, don't think I suppose you're not sure. I think we should check. I know. Didn't Elrond invite us to dinner? That was a while ago. I thought we were supposed to come, like, in the next few days to his house. Were we? No, 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 no. no. I don't uh, remember. He did say that he would be around for the Bright Moons Festival. But he can also fucking teleport. So, yeah. you know. We talked about visiting Elrond to bring Lucian back, but uh, like many things, that got skipped uh, because something more convenient happened. Lucian came back to life on his own. So. Told you so. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I knew it. 
so I think what t- what time is it in the day? Is it uh, at this point, probably like five ish, maybe oh, six. Jeez, I mean, I think we need to swing by Elrond's. Like That's soon. the brothel. How just... long do we wait for Lucian and Leora to come out of this house? Should I go on my own? Which one's going to be scarier? Us waiting for Baker to turn into a serial killer? <laughs> or Gwydion asking a serial killer mage if he's a serial killer mage? Both those sound horrible! I think we should continue to split the party. Elrond's a friend of the family. He wouldn't hurt me? Question mark. <laughs> He's been intrigued in like the weird like eldritch bullshit that we keep finding. Yeah. In an all, well, no. I mean, that's still kind of. A, I mean, that's a fascination of itself. I mean, shit, you can count for that pretty easily, actually. Fuck. <sighs> it's you who's doing the murders, but that's whatever. We I could tell Leora and Lucian to leave the house. We could. We probably should. Let's be honest. I think Heinrich can help with that. Well, that's We're... A lot. What? Uh, Heinrich, you can message people's minds, correct? Yeah. If, if we needed to tell Lucian and Leora to leave the house, you could. I, as long as I see them, yeah. I oh, have to see them. Never, never mind. You're always invisible. Yeah, we can just send Weary um, and give the message. Well, perhaps we're just stuck here waiting until they leave the house. Hold on, does this have to be in a place I can see? A spot within range. Oh, well, I mean, fucking 60 feet of range. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. I, I could just put I could just put my voice in the basement, you know, and whisper like, "We think we need to visit Elrond, but we don't want to go alone. I don't know if this takeout is worth it. Now uh, you can message me." I cast a message to Gwydion. Either we sneak out of here, or you cause a distraction and we sneak out. He's asleep. The man's asleep. Just walk out. I cast a message to Gwydion. Is he actually asleep, or is he pretending to sleep? Who knows? I just look at Leora, and I'm like... You don't know where I'm at. The I sooner... Towards the whispering. The sooner you get out, the better. And I'm just like, hey, you know, just, just let Gwydion know. I don't plan on leaving here until I am confident it is or is not Baker. Cast must just go in. Lucian's not going to leave until he's confident that it is or is not William Baker, who is the <laughs> sculptor. Okay, well, Lucian's safe, I guess. To this message. Well, Lucian's safe, I suppose, but the rest of us need to confront Elrond about this. He might have information that could change this entire case. Well, I'm going to slap Lucian on the ass and say, it's been nice knowing you, and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> Beautiful. What's up? And you'll get over it. 23. Shit. You, you have advantage because you're invisible, bruh. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. Can I retroactively not use my luck? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks, God. Okay. I mean, you can still replace the 12 with the 1, and you still get a 23 because you have advantage, so... Uh, Leora, when you are walking up the stairs, you see... Don't look um, cool. Baker kind of leaning up against the door frame. Slowly, like, uh, trying to, like, walk toward the door, but he falls down. I, th- I think that I. 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 Don't, I. 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 You see, like, bits of purple light start to radiate from around him. Uh, 
he like just clutches his head and just lets out this uh, insane, like a really loud cry of pain. Womp, womp, womp. I'm not sure how everyone else plans no, on reacting no, to that. Don't come. Don't come any closer. I. Larry, this is like when I hear. Okay. Don't. Don't come. Any, any closer, you. You. Baker. I know it's not your fault, and I know you're the sculptor. I'm. I'm I'm, I'm not. You. It's in your head, babe. No. 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 I. 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 I, I didn't. I, I couldn't. I, I mean, I. Calm you. Down, Baker. You, you. The. The murders have been more frequent since you all came. Oh. And now you're, you're, you're trying to frame me. Okay, <laughs> it's not your fault. If we can take you to Elrond, we can help you with your headaches. Can someone get Elrond. an insight check on that? I... I, I don't... No. Elrond's still not back yet. He said he'd be here for the Bright Moons Festival. And I know he can teleport, but... I mean... We know the man quite well. He... I... Well, went out, I went. Looking for... But he... He was... He wasn't home. His servants didn't... <laughs> And it's like he clutches at his head again. And this wave of psionic energy... um, Well, first off, it pushes both of you back up against the wall. Um, Still uh, down on his knees uh, with his... uh, Now screaming out in pain, his hands just clutching onto his head. This energy begins to wrap around him, forming four psionic... Uh, wisps that um, kind of like float around like tendrils around him. Um, I need you guys to roll me initiative. Fuck. That's all right, boys. Not in the fight. We are not killing this man. Got it. I summoned dual blades. <laughs> what? Uh, for some reason, Lucian just isn't ready. Man, this is not the initiative order I want at all. No. Tell this me is about terrible. It. Oh, man. This is terrible. <laughs> look at look at that. I'm afraid. Wow, you rolled so badly. What the uh, everyone, hell? Everyone rolled the literal opposite of what they needed to. Yep, I rolled a one. All right, Leora, you were the first one to act. Cool. Um, right. I'm still invisible, right? Yeah. That's why I thought. Okay. Sure. What do you mean, sure? <laughs> no, you're, uh... What? Oh, Michael died. Using spells while you're invisible breaks that spell. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. message a lot. Ah, you're right. I yeah, did you're do not that. invisible. You're very visible. I might well, not visible. have known that, so... I entirely didn't know that. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, right, well, it was the only way that you would have been able to communicate one way or another. So, so I mean, you can always just cast invisibility again. Yeah, that's where you would have left. I'm a fan of that spell, having spell slots. All right. Cool. So I am. What the fuck am I going to do? Um, not be in front of the psychically charged possible serial killer. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm going to. Cast hypnotic pattern on him. Okay. I'll draw out the cube. Uh, I mean, you don't need to because it's just on him. Puts Lucian to sleep. 
<laughs> Thanks for letting uh, Nathan live down. Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, he rolled a 12, so he is just going to pass instead. That's one down. Oh, okay. yay. Yeah, okay. This is Anything else on your turn? I'm going to inspire <laughs> Lucian. I got him. I think I have a new thing, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yar, har, fiddly dee, a pirate's life for me. Join the song Ooh. and sing with me. Temp HP. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and roll that, baby. Man, that's cool. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Nice. Wait, so I, I hit the uh, Eat My Bardic Inspiration Die plus Charisma Modifier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. little. So... Are we level six? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. All right. You better. <laughs> You've got now. exactly two minutes to level up. All right. Quick. <clears throat> what the fuck? Am I... Great, Dennis. I just noticed. Yes. <laughs> it's a D8. So. Yeah. Oh, it's a D8 now? It's level six? Wow. Yeah. Well, at level five, it went up. Oh. Yeah. Huh. I know I never used it, so you wouldn't know, but. Yeah. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, so that's 12 temp HP. Completely nice. true. I like having uh, that. And it is Baker's turn, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, can I use my legendary action? Nope. Oh. <laughs> um, he is going. Uh, the first thing he is going to do, uh, he's going to make two psychic. Ten, or psionic tendril attacks, one on Leora and one on Lucian. That makes sense. Uh, that's this... a, 20, a 28 on Leora and a uh, 28 on Lucian. So okay. is, this, is this a ranged attack or is it like an attack that has a long reach? It is an attack that has a long reach. Okay, because if it's melee, then I can I use my... Um... I'm not going to use it. Okay, never mind. But thank you for telling It hits. Uh, it yeah, hits. so... It hits both of you. Yes. Um, Leora, wow, you take seven points of psychic damage, and you have become grappled. Kinky. Dang um, it. Where's our, where's our neutered illithid when we need him? Lucian, you take ten points of psychic damage, and you are also grappled. Okay. Um, we're just going to use this net. No, you know what? I like I'm the hand better. better. I like the hand better. So, Michael, theoretically, if I were to I use my cross counter to reduce the damage and I got it to zero, would I still be grappled? Yes, okay. because the attack still hit you. Okay, fine. Um, then he's going... Is that door still open and you're inside? Which one? Me? Yeah, you guys. Uh, I came in. I was talking to him, yeah. All right, he's gonna make a psionic bolt attack on three of you. Holy shit, a lot of attacks. Uh, Gwydion, that's a 27. We're in over our heads. Nah, we're fine. Yeah, it hits. All right, that is seven points of psychic damage. Ooh. Uh, Heimrich, that's a 22. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. Is that an attack? Yes, uh, ranged. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give that a disadvantage. All right. Is that it's a 14 instead? Is that hit? Uh, me? Yeah, that's the hit. Okay. That's 14 points of psychic damage. Uh, and I guess from this angle, it would be. Well, I guess it would be Gwydion again. That's a 15. Uh, that's a miss. All right. Uh, that's gonna be the end of his turn. Heimrich. Uh, all right. So I just gotta pick one new spell, but um, fuck your shit up. Yeah, right. Non-lethally murder him. Cast yes. nuke. Cast a cast great Warlocks old nuke. nuke. Yeah. Great old nuke. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. I'm not familiar with that one yet. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple for this one turn. Just shoot out uh eldritch blast on him. How new learn. I will Back know. to basics. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's two of them, right? Level five? Yeah. And this, thing, uh, this level, yeah. Uh, that first one hits, the second one does not. 
See, again, it deleted the plus four. Every time I level up, roll 20 deletes the plus oh, Yeah, it deletes the... Um, uh, you have to make it a custom spell so that it doesn't reset the spell. Or right. just make it as a uh, just custom attack. Yeah. Well, that's nine damage on the first one. All right, yeah, nine damage, no problem. And I'll uh, move out of the way. All right, getting in. All right, uh, Gwydion is gonna like reach out towards uh, Baker and say, uh, Captain, I really need you to think about what you're doing. I'm gonna cast it insinuation on him. Okay. That's uh, a wisdom save, DC 15. Uh, that is a 16. I believe you. Uh, okay. That is, well, I'm gonna take a step outwardly. One, two, three. Or five and get here out of the house. Okay. To avoid getting hit in the future. Yes. Lambert. Alrighty there. Can I not get in the house? You can get in the house. There we go. Just I had to squirrel my way in there apparently. That's weird. There's not anything blocking in the dynamic lighting for me. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's my 30 feet of movement, sadly, and I want to be closer than that, but I can't be. Shit. Options. How many do I have? Not as many as I would have liked. Um... Okay, Fireball's done well for me before. Oh, well, Fireball. Yeah. That's 14. Uh, it's not going to hit, unfortunately. Shame. Oh, well. I gave him a hardier target to attack now, so there's that at least. All uh, right. Yeah. Um, at the end of your turn, he's just, he lets out a scream. I regret my choice. told you. Just stay back. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. I'm afraid. I think it's That's a 13. That fails. Yep. Yeah, that fails. Um. Who's down here? Uh, you take 27 points of psychic damage. That's a lot. That's. Yeah. And you are pushed back 20 feet and Jeez. fall prone because you failed by so much. What Jeez, the hell? Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm guessing the DC is 18. Yeah, I'd have to guess that. Q. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna step here. And see lots of problems. So that's one, two, three. And then throw so your aura. I love it. Gonna shit, man. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna use a second level spell slot uh, to cast heat metal on him. Okay. Because nice. he's wearing a metal breastplate. Is that right? That he is. Give me a con save. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is a 23. Oh, I don't think the con save matters. He can't drop his armor, after all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's real true. Wait, okay. Sleeping in his armor? Well, yeah, I guess he was. That's my turn. He was no wonder he could be comfortable. Around. Yeah, he was walking around in armor just in public and then like yeah. fell asleep in his armor. Well, he just came off the job. He's been off for uh, like days. No, yeah, this was the first day. day. Yeah, he got sent home today. Well, first um, he used to have armor. <laughs> does, he still, does he take the damage this turn? Uh, no, I was reading that. Um, any... when I cast... yeah, it takes 2d8 when I cast the spell. Yeah, so and then every bonus actually. Seven damage yeah. there. 
All right. And then future damage as well. Lucian. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to need to break this grapple. So I'm going to use my action to attempt to not be grappled. Okay. That seems reasonable. You are no, you are no longer grappled. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to walk 10 feet this way to be within Paladin Aura. Like that? Uh, oh, is this like a thing that I can't walk over? I mean, you can kind of walk around it. You walk just around like, it. Okay, yeah. So I, I, I just, I, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm getting into the aura and then I'm going towards him. Okay. Uh, and I have a bonus action. You do! Uh, I suppose as my bonus action, I will just have to go ahead and brace myself. For now, yeah. You already have temp HP, right, from Leora? I have two first. temp HP right now. Those points. Because I got hit for 10. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and gain 16 temporary hit points and end my turn. All right. Leora. I'm just writing the notes down. Um, yeah, I'm going to shatter him. <laughs> <It's the same laughs> thing. I mean, we're already shooting bolts of light fire oh, in this house. It's true. <laughs> And I'm going to put it, cast it at second level. I'm going to put it here so that it hits him and not Lucy. All right. Is that uh, that's a natural 20 on the save. Fuck um, me and the asshole, I swear to God. It's just half damage. And he still takes half the damage. It's not so bad. You need to roll another. Did you say you cast that at second level? That's the level. That's its bottom level. Okay. Yeah. Like Eight points of thunder damage. Right, anything else? I'm going to inspire a Teoroa. Okay. So that's a five plus. What? It's my charisma plus yeah. a d6. Yeah. D8. D8. Whatever, D8. Alright. So that's nine. Uh, Q, you get nine points of temp HP. I almost have 100 HP now. Who, I died you? <laughs> Who are you? Well, Fine. 70 what? But... Sorry, math who? <laughs> Matt you. Bless you. Um... <laughs> Gesundheit. The anti-boots. Uh... He can walk around. Uh, all right, it's uh, the Baker's turn. We're going to have a Tendril attack on Q. Has disadvantage. Oh, all of his attacks have disadvantage. All of his attacks have disadvantage because he's currently encased yeah. in molten armor. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, that is a 14. Miss. All right, we're going to go for another one then. I should probably just, yeah. Okay, that's an 11. Miss. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's a natural one. Uh, then we're gonna go for some psionic bolt attacks. We're gonna go... With disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go Lambert, that's a 21. Uh, wait, I'm prone. He already okay. has disadvantage. That's a 21. <laughs> that might not... Wait, so did I crash into the couch or into the wall then? Probably into the couch. Okay, He's still fair. prone. Yeah, I'm still over. Uh, I'd like to think you were pushed into the couch and like <laughs> couch rolled over with him on it. And that's why I didn't take bludgeoning damage from hitting a wall. Fine. Um, <laughs> you know what? Uh, no. All right. I cast no. Uh, we're gonna have. That's not what I want to roll. Uh, now Leora, that's a twenty-one to hit you. I'm trying to write so many notes down. Yep. Yeah. That hits. Jesus. Uh, it's going to be eight points of damage. Cool. Oh, that was really low. Yeah. And then we're going to have uh, another bolt on, you know what? Q. Sure. 14. It's not nice. going to hit. <laughs> you missed two nat 20s in that. Oh, God. Uh, you know wow. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that I broke your boss. No, it's fine, because you did not. Heinrich. 
Uh, God, well, getting hit by that thing somehow made me level up and <laughs> learn some new magics. That's handy. Uh, oh, shit, you're standing next to him, though. That sucks. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, well. There's space behind him. There goes that spell. Um, all right. I will... Fuck it, I want to try it. I'll never get to use this spell. I will use Phantasmal Force on him Ooh. to make it appear, to make him think that he is on fire. He is on fire. He is on fire. <laughs> but this time it's not just his arm <laughs> melting into his flesh, it's his flesh just melting <laughs> from flesh melting. All right. Uh, then in that case, not fire, but that a acid rain is pouring all over him. Oh, or, no. Causing okay. said damage of psychic. Not only is he burning, he's also burning. In a different way. Chemical versus That's natural. Oh, Jesus. This is yeah. not block. Oh, it is, fuck. Uh, in, right, I remember the spell now. What do I do? Intelligence saving throw. You gotta beat a okay. 15. First off, That's a 20. <laughs> Alright, well, there goes that. Oh, I have four points. It, oh, is it right. half damage, or...? No, it's on the... All or nothing. Yeah, it's all or nothing. Such a long spell to read. Fuck right. you guys. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you have like something simple like fireball? Roll all your d8s. Done. Right. I only um, have like seven d8s, and it's really annoying. And I'll move eight. Move and I'm turn then. Okay. Yeah, the spell just ends. Nothing fucking happens. Jesus Christ. Uh, at the end of your turn. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're gonna go with this one. Okay. Um, Heinrich. Oh. Yeah. Would you, would you care to make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think you're good at that. Yeah, yeah, you're good at that. Yeah, apparently. Oh, well, you, you pass. So there's that. Bye. 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 Oh, is that going to be like dominate person? <laughs> like, terrifying. Uh, I'll never know that. Your friends. I it's would not have removed anybody for that. It's actually called Pass the Sculptor. Ask oh. the sculptor. Heinrich is now the sculptor. Oh, <laughs> Heinrich is now. Wow. So yeah, oh, kill God. all your friends. There is all one right. sculptor. Uh, Gideon, it's your turn. Let me just step in here. What's going on? Oh, that's good. not good. Um. Yeah, as long as this guy still got his legendary things, yeah, it's concerning. Um. I will once again uh, cast it insinuation, see if he eventually fails. Okay. Get a okay. good turn off. Wisdom save. Um, that is only a 12. Fail. Okay. Uh, he will just pass and Got one. Hell yeah. Got one more. I'm not fucking with that today. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. I mean, come on, we only kill a vampire in, like, a turn with it. Yeah. Listen, if he, fa if he uses his resistances on these, I can use my big spells on him. Oh, yeah. It's easy. Yes, distract him with a random sound behind his left ear. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Uh, at the... Where? Are you over there? Mm-hmm. Could you not be over there instead? Mm-mm. I like the okay. couch. It's comfy. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, at the end of his turn, he's going to try to reach out to, to Q and give him an attack. Damn. Uh, that was a 17. Miss. Yeah, you missed your natural 20 there. Fuck yeah. Oh, wow, he really wants to crit your ass, dude. 
He oh, got boy. It really does. You're getting closer, though. Lambert. Well, uh, first off, I would like to spend half of my movement to get the fuck off my ass. So okay. I definitely I'll allow do, it. I do that. <laughs> I'm going to run up next to Q and bathe in his holy paladin aura of awesome. What's your charisma modifier? Plus four. Thank you. I thought it was that, but I didn't want to just throw it all willy nilly. Oh, dear sweet lord, my saves now. That's frightening numbers. I hope. Those are very frightening numbers. And then, um. Hiya. Hiya? Hiya. Hi Fuck. That's really sad. 18? That just hits. Okay. Woo! Now he's actually armor. physically on fire. As well as burning. Fantastic. Um, like, really nice half plate. And Ooh. for my bonus action, uh, ooh, I feel better. By mm, I feel better now. I do. I do. I legit feel a lot better now. All right. Q. Uh, sure. Um, we're gonna walk up to him. Sorry, Lambert. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. And. Using an action, we're gonna hit him with the oh. Molten Priest's hammer. Okay. Now he's even more on fire. That is. And we're gonna How use a smite slot burns, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I might burn him too. Um. Is he undead? No. Or a fiend? No. Okay. Sad. Smite slot away. Bonk. Okay. 19 points of damage. Pretty cool. good. Gonna hit him again. Okay. That misses. I think I want to hold on to Leor's thing, because concentration is right. really important on this. Yeah. Cool. Uh, bonus action, we're going to use... Yeah, the... Uh, um, heat metal, metal to continue to... Yeah, eat away. Oh, eat him oh, away. Yeah. Uh, so what is that? You know. 2d8? 2d8. Right. 7 fire damage. Extra 7 fire damage. Alright, anything else? That'll be Q's turn. Alright. Lulu Shin. I'll get on this side of him. Okay. I'm gonna use my attack action. I'm gonna... The attack action. The attack action, if you would. Uh, I'm gonna punch him right in the face. Oh I fuck yeah, I will. That hits. In the aura, cool. Maximum damage, twenty points of bludgeoning, please. And this That's... is magical if it's thrown. Wow. You didn't even use your feature for maximum damage. You just got it. I just got it. That's wow. Yeah, who needs features when you can just roll good? Do it on a crit. You you literally <laughs> rolled a grand total of three dice, and you rolled the biggest numbers on all three. Congratulations. Biggest. All right, I'm going to use my bonus action now. I still have my other attack, but I'm saving that for a moment. Uh, to use the old one, too. So I'm going to give him two more with my bonus action. Okay. Ooh, that's not one. And that's not one either. And no, those are two misses, in fact. All right, sadly, that plan didn't go well, but that's all right. Uh, I'm now going to use my other attack action, my other attack from my attack action, to try to grapple him. Yeah, to get up the other attack action. The other attack action to attempt to grapple. Yes. Big okay. It's uh, athletics, acrobatics. Yeah. Has disadvantage on checks. Has disadvantage on checks. Does yep. he? That's oh my god, he does! Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is. Sorry. Uh, what am I looking at? There. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a twelve. Yeah, he's grappled. I got him. Yeah. That is the end of my turn. I just need to knock him prone. <laughs> I have a feature that can do that, but I need to hit him with both of those bonus attacks. So it's cute. All right. Or the aura. Yeah, so it's cute. And his hurts. <laughs> yeah, you got heat metal though. Yeah, heat metal's really good. I'll do my best. So broken. Uh, 
Okay. I assume you're casting that then? Yeah. Uh, that is a 10. So he's just gonna take the damage. Okay. Uh, what else is up with the spell? Because you're not talking, and I'm not, I don't wanna he, read it. He must immediately use his reaction to move as far away from me. As uh, he can't. Possible. There's so no movement speed. Stuck there. He just uses his reaction and it does jack shit. No, he can move further away. He, can he has zero movement movies. speed. Can just grab oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him. So. I got him. But he has to use his reaction. Yeah. If available. I mean, so he's, he's just trying him. to run, but I've, I've got him. I would yeah. say that's a DM call ultimately, because that's. No, I mean, <laughs> he is attempting to run. He just but can't. He can't. <laughs> uh, I, I might say, you know what, give me a contested check. Like he's using a reaction to Ooh. go as far as he can, which in this case would be leaving your grapple. Sure. Uh, I, will... I rolled a natural one. So. <laughs> All right, cool. And I rolled a 25. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. Uh, it is his turn. Uh, we are going to go with an attack on Lucian. Okay. Let's have two attacks on Lucian. Both okay. disadvantage. Yeah, two tendrils. One's a 14. That's a miss. One's a 26. That is a hit. Okay. Wow. Uh, right. So that is going to be ooh, uh, 13 points of psychic damage. Yep. And you are grappled. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, are they how's hugging? That is that what's going on here? Well, <laughs> you're grabbing onto him, and one of the tentacles uh, that's around him has wrapped itself around you. Is no. that possible? So yeah. You're, yeah. you're both grappling each other, so neither of you are going to be moving. Yeah. Wow, my feel like mechanically, a grapple. None of you can you move. Grapple. <laughs> I, uh, wow. We're going to have. Uh, it's a 12 to hit Leora. Oh, finally, it misses. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that is a natural one on Leora. That is a 12 to hit Leora. <laughs> yep. We're good. Hi, How's that? The hell? Huh? I'm gonna peek back in. Alright. Still around it. Oh, um, hi! Not doing that spell again, so I'll just Eldritch Blast. Wait. Uh, one of those is a hit. I don't want to be that guy, but if you're grappling him and he's heat metal. Uh, yeah, I'm in contact with his armor. I'll take the damage. Unless you're just like holding his throat. It would only proc once Q activates the spell again for his bonus action, yeah. though. Sure. Yeah, but that's fine. Like, I, I, I am in contact with his armor. I'm holding yeah. on to him. This is true. Yeah. I think that's fun. Thank you, Nathan. I love it. And I am a turn. Sincerity. Okay. Uh, Lucy's just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Um, Worth it. I have to grapple. It is all I know. Uh, At the end of your turn, Heinrich, um, a burst of psionic energy is going to leave him and try to get and just like blast out around Q. Uh, I need. Uh, I need. Oh, you're lucky. I, I just need Q to make me a constitution saving throw. Yes. Yeah, hold on. Let me push this button. <laughs> That's a good, That's a good button. <laughs> All right, I mean, you pass. Actually, uh, which means one that one you one. take only... Third, uh, sorry, uh, it's 16 points of psychic damage. Here's my temp HP. Okay. Oh, shucks. That is still a uh, concentration check, although I don't think you're going to fail. You have to be okay. I'll okay. turn in your favor, even if you're rolling that one. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Filthy. It feels good. Feels, Filthy. feels real good. Filthy ability. Uh, yeah. I'm not even Dude. blessed right now. Jeez. Oh, right? I don't much add that. Okay. Um... If it ain't broke, which is to say, it's still procking his legendary 
resistance. Mm -hmm. um, the resistance. Yeah. His wisdom saves seem to be only okay, so I will uh, use it insinuation once again. Okay, that is a 20. Damn. Oh, geez. Can't win them all. <laughs> Gotta step up over here now. Okay. Uh, Lambert. All righty, righty, ro. Oh, do, do, do. The damage has arrived. Yeah, let's see if he actually hits anything. What time of day is it? Uh, so it's like, like five. Probably just past sundown. It's a cold. Yep, he's going to get hit with that good old cold damage. I mean, we can't burn him even more. Frost I know, burn. right? That kind of makes me sad. I was really looking forward to frost burning him more. Burn. Yeah, we'll, we'll give yeah, him a little frost burn. An unrecognizable. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. So that is a one hit. That's one hit. Let's see if we can make that more than one with the action surge. One would mm, think. Nope. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can. Uh, you can make it two with an action surge. I'll take That's it. Nice. Uh, number. Number. Okay. Anything else on your turn? I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty proud of that, actually. Damn. Okay. Cute. Woo, Paliora. Hey, Ooh. it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to action use attack. Use attack. Action. Attack. Okay. Attack. Uh, does that hit? Yeah. Cool. We're going to... Use a smite slot and roll the hammer damage. Yikes. Jeez. He's looking pretty hurt. Uh, gonna hit him again with okay. the hammer. Mm -hmm. Just hits. We're running low in smite slots, so we're gonna use one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Logic. Words to live by. Yeah. Oh, that was a good smite, too. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. He's looking. Oh, actually. No. Oh. Yeah. Phase two. Uh, when you hit him with that second strike, like it, it gets him right on the side of the head, and he just like passes oh. out in uh, Lucian's arms, and the psionic uh, aura around him dissipates. <laughs> going to listen, listen. end heat metal. So <laughs> Perry Baker. Good call. Yeah, do that. Who was it? We know Baker. It's okay. We need to get in contact with Elrond. Right, how I see it, we either bring him to the guard or we bring him to Elron, and I think Elron is the better option. Well, Stop you know here. what? I you know what? think both. You know what, lads? This is what I think. I think we're going to do that next week, because it's already 8 o'clock, uh, it's already time. Ah! <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. That was intense! Uh -huh. I didn't think we were going to finish that within, like, the first 10 minutes after. Oh, I was hey. too worried. I mean... Yeah, he went from over half his health to ten to, to under ten percent of his health in a couple of attacks. So Hell yeah. Whoa. Once yes. <laughs> when your melee fighters all can have the potential to hit like a goddamn truck. <laughs> uh, that that smite was a uh, Yeah, that, that was, was a smite. Pretty good. Sick nasty. Um now um next week. Uh, we will figure out what you guys do with uh, Baker and the time being. Um, we got some downtime. Um, <coughs> a little bit of downtime just uh, before the Bright Moons Festival. And maybe if we have time, we might even get to the Bright Moons Festival next week. Oh I'm hoping for it, but months. we will see. Sweet. That was crazy. Yeah. The plot. In oh. biggins, as they he say. He has so many attacks. It's just a red herring. He had five attacks. Well, yeah. I mean, I and if if uh, if we actually got through all his legendary resistances, I was gonna cast slow on him, which would have probably thrown a wrench in his plans. 
It's like, ah, oh, he has so many attacks. Meanwhile, Matthew's just like, what if he had disadvantage on all, all attacks? I totally forgot about that part of the spell when I read it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's real good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn. So broken. Uh, I've we, created a monster. We got two of his legendary resistances. Eventually, okay, eventually I'm going to pick some other spells what is that little thing that's the like the end boss right like you would never suspect it absolutely it's tiny oh. i actually don't know do they I... avoid like eye contact like most pets do not really no one of my cats completely avoids eye contact that's that looking right in the eye she kind of does don't look you in the eye i All actually right. don't know what, what level spells i plan on taking next level uh, I need to figure that out. Jeez, all right. dude. Alright, I will all catch right. you all next week. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, and that's it for this session of... Not Dungeon the Mad Mage. Why do I have that there? I just realized that. I am the dumb. The SRL's Cartography Guild. Wow. Ugh, I need to fix that. Lord, I need to fix that. Anyway, guys, I do hope you all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, great way to show that support, as always, by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And tuning in next week to see what other overcomplicated plans we come up with that literally, basically cover every single possible situation, save for like two, and of course, that's the situation that freaking comes up. <laughs> but once again, thank y'all for watching, and as usual. Cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. What the? Goddamn Spotify. We'll catch you all in the next video.